It's not necessary to take this off to change your main gear, uh, but you can see what's going on and you still want to check for garbage under there. So you can go ahead and replace this back on. Line your indexing point up with this shutter rod right there. And then first thing, go ahead and put your indexing arm back on. Take your washer, stick that on the post. Take your arm and place that back down as it was before with the tongue facing down. And then take the larger of the two spring clips that we removed. And then once again, very carefully press that back on. And we can see that that's rotating very well. Same thing over here for the uh, center. Make sure that's lined up with the teeth. It's setting down straight. Take the smaller of the two spring clips and go ahead and put that guy back in right there. You can do this with your fingers or a screwdriver. Like I said, just be careful your spring clips don't spring away. Okay, so what I have here is just a simple uh, screwdriver that mounts. Uh, this is a uh, six millimeter or one quarter I'm sorry one quarter and I think maybe five or six millimeter depending on what uh, you have for tools will fit just a simple little socket and you can see right here that'll lock on that now like I said there are two bolts I actually like to take out three there is a third bolt here which is part of the housing for the light bulb I like to pull it out because it just gives me a little more wiggle room and space, but I think you can probably get away without pulling this one out. But there are two. There's one here, and then there's another one that you can't quite see, which is right down here, which is the same thing. It's just horizontally opposed. And both of these, as I said, have these wires on them. <laughs> and uh, you simply just want to take this and bend it down. Because all it's doing is like a twist tie, it's holding this wire harness here. So, <clears throat> let's see if you can see this other one right here. There's the other one, right down there. That guy, and you're just going to bend that down, bend it out of the way. And then what we can do is just take these wires and pull them out of the way. And so what we want to do is, first off, we'll get that first one out. Put our tool together here. And, uh, like I said, we left this, uh, this access way for the bulb undone. So we can just go ahead and stick it in here and just lefty-loosey take that out. You can see that wire is moving a little bit there. Pull that guy out. And you can see it's just a bolt and then this is just a hanger to hold your wires. So we'll put that aside and you can see already this thing is moving right here. That second bolt, now if you can see it, right down there, you can locate it by that wire that's hanging right there. So we're just going to move that out of the way. Take this. This one's a little bit tougher. Get it in there. And just turn. And it and the whole motor should come out. Okay. You can see it now. Try not to drop these things down. So there it is, another bolt and a hanger. Set those aside. And you can see your motor comes out. Try not to damage the two connecting leads. You can just kind of set it aside here. And as you see on the top, is our gear right there just pull that guy right off 
And as you can see, those top pieces, which are in this bag right here, sheared right off of the top of that. So, a little comparison. Our replacement gear and our old gear with sheared off pieces. Those don't have any teeth left anymore. That's not going to help turn the carousel. So that's junk. Here's our new gear. So we're going to just put it right back on. Now there's some grease on here. You don't really need to put any more on there. Just stick that right back on there. Okay, looking in here. So you know what to line up. Here's our motor and our new gear, and hopefully you can see right down in there are the teeth that it lines up with. So, right down in here, those are the teeth right here that you're going to line that up with. So, let's go ahead and stick that back in, and you can see here's, here's where... Uh, there are your two bolt connections right there and right there. Make sure you clean any garbage or anything. Maybe there's some broken pieces in there. Just clean that out. So we're going to go ahead and uh, stick that back in there and remount it. So just go ahead once again. Be careful not to break any of the wire contacts. And you need to go over this lip right here. We're just going to slip that in. And uh, I find it easy to maybe do the first one first. Just set that there. Take this and just open that up. And we'll put that back in there. Take your screwdriver. Slip that under your wires. Put that guy in there. Put it in. Make sure you're lined up here. Now I'm going to leave that a little bit loose here so I can get this other bolt in. So now it's time for the lower one. Same thing. Just stick this together. And get in there. Helps to stick it on there. You might find it a little bit easier to uh, lay this on its top upside down. Uh, it's actually harder to keep these wire clips on here uh, than it is to actually get the bolt in. Uh, it helps to have a little bit of a magnetic screwdriver. And this one's obviously hard to see because we're going to be installing it right back here. So we're going to take this, put the bolt and the wire through. Keep my finger on it. Take my, screw, my flashlight over here. And the gear can very easily drop off, so let's get that out. Make sure that's on there. Hold it with our thumb. Slide it over. Try to get it in there. And I think we got it in. Okay. You want to actually leave it a little bit loose so you can move this. And the trick is going to be getting that aligned because it's going down in and making contact with the edge of the carousel gears. So you can see here you get a little bit of slide movement here. This one obviously is a lot easier to get in. Just put that in like so. Put that into the hole. And uh, this is a visual of what you're doing on the other side, because it's hard to catch on camera. Like I said, these uh, wire wraps are almost creating more of an issue, but they're just to help keep those wires out of the way from touching stuff. So there we go. That's tight. The other one's tight. You can kind of move the wires around here. We're going to bend those back. So the trick is... Loosen that up a little bit. That way you can move it around just a little tad bit. 
You want to kind of push it in a little bit, make sure it's making contact. And then just go ahead and finish tightening that one up. And weasel in and get that other one on the far side there. I know it's difficult to see. There we go. Now, your wire harness, you can kind of push that down. Just go ahead and bend your wire holders back over. Get that other guy over in there. Same thing. Just kind of bend them over. And uh, get them in so it's holding it just like it was. Okay, so here we go. We put our bulb back in. The fan's running. Lights on. Turn that back off. Moment of truth. Here we go. Ready? And forward we go. And it is indexing and it is moving. Now we're along. ready to put uh, the back panel on. Uh, as I mentioned before, if you haven't loosened these two bolts, it, it helps a bit to go ahead and remount this. Just take your two uh, clips right here, line it up with this edge and this opening which can be a little bit tricky. Get it in there and then just push that in there and it snaps in and go ahead and tighten these screws back. Here we go there. for a function test. Uh, load up one of your cubes. Uh, like I said, uh, be careful with these, uh, these doors. Like I said, I think these broken ears here were the culprit of what destroyed the previous gear on this. So. Loaded up, obviously, uh, I just got a couple of test slides in there. I think it's uh, pictures of the universe and galaxies and stuff in there. But uh, you can turn it on. Now, be careful when you load this. If you've ejected the magazine, one of the big problems is this door right here. That guy, once you've ejected the previous cartridge, that likes to stick up. When you insert your new cube and go forward, you want to make sure that that's down. Because otherwise it's going to stick and catch that. So here's the function test. We're in forward. And here we go. And you can see there's the preview. And there we go. And you can see as it comes around, it's depositing the slides into the magazine here. And you can see why you can only go back one, because they're being deposited down in here. Okay, well, hopefully uh, you've been able to successfully uh, clear or repair uh, your Bell & Howell um, cube projector. Uh, so if everything's running well, you can uh, go ahead and uh, show those old slides. Uh, or Get you, get out your uh, film camera, your SLR, uh, put some uh, color slide uh, film in there, and go take some new memories. Go on vacation, and don't be intimidated by this. I mean, especially this old American uh, uh, manufactured uh, electronics. Uh, you know, this stuff. Don't be afraid of it. It's always well engineered, and uh, for the most part, built pretty ruggedly. Unfortunately, you know, we had one piece which was because of the materials available at the time, just not the greatest thing. Uh, but, you know, we have a cheap replacement part for it. Um, it's 11 bucks. People ask, is it worth it? Well, you know, these projectors go anywhere from 20 30 maybe $40 on uh, eBay, places like that. But you're probably getting it with the same part in it. Uh, getting the $11 part makes sure that you're getting an upgraded piece that won't break like this one will. Fix your stuff. It's not as hard as you think. Have fun with it. Um, if anything in this video wasn't clear or you need help with anything, please let me know. I hope I was clear enough. If not, ask me a question. I'll be more than happy to explain something to you. So with that, um, you know, let's, uh, let's have a slideshow. Let me show our old slides here. Get the popcorn out. Let's go. This is Justin in the workshop. We'll catch you next time.